such an incredible season for Corey Heim. Even though he missed the race at St. Louis in position to win the regular season championship. Held off Kyle Busch for the win at Martinsville. Got his second win at Mid-Ohio. But he's going to lose the top spot here in the tunnel turn. Kyle Busch waited and then he pounced. Kyle is out front at Pocono. Kyle used every one of those years of experience to make that pass on Corey Heim. Off of turn three. Hello, history books. It's going to be win number 100 for Kyle Busch Motorsports, and it comes courtesy of the boss. Kyle Busch delivers at Pocono. Oh, so he's a man. Wow, what a move. The third time, he's one of the Craftsman Truck Series at Pocono. Four cup wins here, an Xfinity victory, and now the hat trick in a truck. What an impressive performance, which we've obviously said that a number of times before for Kyle Busch, but I mean, I think he just studied Corey Heim over those last number of laps to say, well, maybe where is he going to be a little bit more vulnerable than the other corners? And I think he probably had it in his mind. That's what he was going to do, maybe with two or three laps to go. Fans giving him the love that he deserves for that beautifully ex executed pass on the last lap. 18 different drivers have won in a truck for Kyle Busch Motorsports. And a couple of them that finished inside the top five have pulled it off. Corey Heim has won a truck race for Kyle, so has Christopher Bell. They finished second and fourth this afternoon. Great day for Taylor Gray, who comes home third. Grant Enfinger got to fifth. Majeski ends up sixth. Christian Eckes having a great season was seventh. Dean Thompson finishes the deal in the top ten. He was eighth. Rhodes and DiBenedetto complete the top ten. But the man at Pocono today is Kyle Busch. Here's Josh Kyle Sims. Kyle Busch, before the race, you told me you were tired of being asked when win 100 was going to come for KBM. Will you get it done here today? What does 100 for your organization mean? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, we've been around for uh, a long time. Not as long as others, obviously. Uh, they've withstood a little bit longer, but it's been fun. Just uh, a great ride, obviously. You know, this Silverado today was, was really, really fast, just mired in traffic and couldn't find a way to, to make a clean move. So had to make a little bit of a racy one, a little bit of a dicey one there at the end, getting into two. But um, Heim ran a great race. Just, um, you know, we needed this 100th win to get it over with. And this Zerese Transport Silverado was just too fast to hold us out of, of victory lane. So um, really proud of the guys, everybody at KBM, everybody at Rowdy Manufacturing. Appreciate them. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a monumental day. It's a century mark of being able to win 100 truck races. Um, you know, we're granted a small team and, and just one that, uh, you know, performs in the truck series. Uh, we, we ventured away once upon a time. and didn't quite work but um, we, we found a home here in the trucks and excited to have Craftsman back on board so we appreciate Craftsman and all their support of the truck series over the years so um, you know it's cool to always score a victory and another nice one here at Pocono. Kyle Busch your winner at Pocono. Jamie? Well, it was refreshing to hear Kyle Busch mention Corey Heim and the fantastic drive that he had inside of that interview. You led 18 laps today but that disappointment on your face I feel it radiating off of you. What do you take away? Yeah, just unreal. I mean, I uh, felt like I did everything right. I um, seemed like we had about five laps in the truck before it started tightening up really bad on me. So didn't really get the run I wanted out of one. And I knew his straightaway speed was really good. But um, I was a little upset initially. But realistically, I would have done the exact same thing. So, um, you know, heat of the moment kind of deal there. But looking back on it, I mean, I've just got a lot of respect for Kyle. I've raced for him for two years, and he was really good to me. And he raced me with respect today hard racer. Uh, he didn't rack us to win and I would have probably done the same thing. So um, just really sucks. I mean, I really thought we had it there, especially with seeming that he couldn't really form up a run good enough to pass me. And then he, he sends it in on the last lap. So um, just super thankful for everyone at Chicon Garage, Toyota Racing, Safe Light. Uh, this Tundra Geody Pro was really good today. Just um, once again, seemed like we just had about four or five laps in it until it started tightening it up. And, uh, you know, all the blame goes on me for not doing what I should have done. Well, you did a great job. Got bested by one of the best ever. And uh, lessons learned. He nearly <laughs> turned Kyle away for the second time head to head this year. It was a great battle. And you'll always look back and think what I could have done differently. But the run off of turn one 
was the reason why Kyle had all that momentum and used the draft and dove in there aggressively, as Kyle said, and before he agreed, but yet made the pass cleanly. Yeah, I don't think Kyle tried to make, he didn't make the pass or try, attempt to make the pass getting in turn one because he knew he needed to get off for two better. If he tries to make the pass into turn one and it doesn't work, then he's going to lose all his momentum. It's just a smart, smart race by a great, great driver. And he's got the 100 wins flag. Fitting that he was able to hit the century mark for KBM. For Corey Heim, it's his seventh top five finish in 14 starts this year. Taylor Gray, third, that is a career best. We offer our congratulations to him.